Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is an intraday report for trading on November the 15th, Tuesday, 2016. You're looking at a chart right now of ticker symbol NAK or NAC. And as you can see, this market has pretty much exploded pretty nicely, getting back above that dollar handle. If you recall uh, our previous videos, you would see that um, the market is following a very interesting trajectory now and is going to be shooting to continue to make 52-week um, highs, which is great because that's really what you want to see in stocks trading under $5. So as it stands right now, support is at $0.70, cents, and this market is looking to continue to close today above a dollar and probably stay there as it gets up to probably about a buck fifty before you see any um, sign of, of pullback here but this is a really strong uh, breakout candle all right looking here at uh, at the JNUG we got a same situ similar situation going on here uh, this market hit a high today of eight dollars and thirty five cents and you can see that currently it's at 829 so it's making a run too you have your first line of resistance at 867 and then your second is at 1096 and then the third would be fourteen dollars and twenty three cents which is right here and then that will put us right there below the Kumo cloud around 15 bucks and I do think this is going to try to get somewhere in the cloud before any kind of correction back to the $14 trend line which should be new support going forward as this tries to break out of the Kumo cloud at, at around $21 looking at nugget similar situation overhead resistance is at $10 and 18 cents next resistance is at 12.54 and then the next one would be at 1585 putting it below the Kumo cloud of around 17 bucks and it should try to peak out somewhere probably around the $25 level before correcting and then $20 should be a nice strong support going forward all right looking at AG AG is following a similar trajectory Overhead resistance now is at nine dollars and seventy-seven cents. So far, the market hit a high today of eight ninety-seven, and that will put it right here below this Kumo cloud here. And this one has a way to go. It's probably going to try to make a run somewhere near twelve before correcting. And I'm going to say the nine to ten dollar range should be support uh, if it's going to try to make a run for the fourteen dollars and break out of the Kumo cloud. All right, taking a look here at Slick Rick, Pretty Ricky, ticker symbol RIC. You can see this one is also trying to follow the same trajectory. Uh, it's going to have uh, resistance at seven dollars and eighteen cents. Then at eight twenty-eight, and then the next one's going to be at eight ninety-six. So this one will, it will put it right here below the Kumo cloud. Once it breaks that nine-dollar range, there's a thin layer here, so ten dollars uh, should be uh, the cracker ceiling that it should be able to get right through thin layer cookie type of a layer it should get up to about eleven dollars ten dollars should be the new support going forward on its way up to twelve uh, here on the pretty Ricky and it's following that trajectory on the weekly chart let me just show you what I mean all of these um, all of these are, are going the way of the trajectory as indicated see it's following the ramps all right following the ramps all right, so watch out for that nine dollar breakout because then that's what's going to give you the power at this last ramp here to get you up to that twelve dollar mark. All right, you can see here with the gold, it's following its trajectory too. Should just move along sideways here until you get to the next ramp. That should catapult it up here to the thirteen hundred dollar level and then back up to the thirteen fifty two level and beyond. So this is following the trajectory as indicated. So building support around this level, this 1220 to 1200 level, and then once you hit the ramp, it should be off uh, back up to the 1352 level. So you're looking at a $130 run coming once it hits this ramp, $130 to the upside. 
All right, uh, looking at silver, pretty much the same thing. It's just going to move around here, try to bottom out somewhere around the 17 mark here, somewhere between 1650 I and mean, $17. And then once it hits this ramp, it's off to the races. Once it breaks that $20 threshold, you can look out because it's going to be making its run to 25 So we're looking at a potential 5 to $7 push coming here and not too distant future on the silver and what's going on with the Dow futures well looking at the Dow Jones hitting new all-time highs at 18 9 18 on its way running to 1900 I don't think it's gonna pull back anytime soon I see us breaking above that 1900 uh, easily and uh, we may even try to make a big ridiculous run uh, toward 20 so here we come 19,000 Dow it's right around the corner and then we'll be at 20,000 just like I said we'll be there really soon 20,000 Dow coming to a city near you you got a little bit of sideways congestion more coming once you hit those new highs and then you got somewhat of a little ramp here and this this ramp is enough to get it above the 1900 19 to be new support and then it flattens out again so nothing really dynamic but we got we do have a ramp coming that could push it to the 19 at least keep it above 19,000 for a while All right, looking here at the NASDAQ, a little bit different story. You can see that it's trying to to break out. It had a pullback already to, to trend line support. Now it's trying to break out again, but it's struggling to stay above 48. So the NASDAQ is not as, is not as powerful right now as the, the Dow. You see this flat top? nice elongated flat top stretched out sideways flattened out nothing really happening here all right so it's struggling um, it has further flattening out coming got a little ramp here but it's not powerful um, it's just more flat side so more expanding of the trading range is what it's showing so really nothing here I don't see anything right now in the charts to indicate that this is going to get and stay above 48 it's struggling with 48 48 is difficult for the Nasdaq alright taking a look alright that didn't come out right alright let's look at this dollar I've been telling you for some time now that the dollar was going to run its trajectory toward a buck going toward par well that's what's, what's happening right now all right, the market uh, hit a high today of par 28, and is now sitting at par 20. So it's trying to, you know, get really on and popping here. All right, hasn't been this high in quite a while. Uh, let's take a look. This is a weekly chart, and you can see the last high we had was par 60 back on November the 30th of 2015 so you can say a year ago we were here all right so it's going to need to close above that if it's going to say hey this is the new floor and we're going to take off like a rocket if this dollar is really going to do something then it needs to do it and do it right now so this is the critical juncture for the dollar like i've shown you in prior videos the dollar has a problem with par it has a problem staying above par all right here you are here all right par 78 half this was hit on March the 9th of 2015 okay so it has a problem with par all right it just does then you normally see corrections afterwards so here in March 9th 2015 you hit that par then you came down here May the 2nd 
of 2016 and went to 91. All right, so that's quite the pullback. But see, because it happens over time, everything looks stretched out and not necessarily, you know, it doesn't look like a, a crash. If it happened all at once, you would say, oh my goodness, what a massive crash. Well, because it did it gradually over time, incrementally, you're not really phased by it. And look, even the, the chart is showing signs that it's it's okay with it too. You know what I mean? So you don't see too much happening here. Then you break, then you just gradually break out as more money pours into it to keep it propped up. And then here you go again. So, uh, you know, you can't fight the Fed. The Fed's going to win at the end of the day, and that's what's happening right now. They're selling massive amounts of uh, paper, gold, and silver to finance uh, the propping up of the dollar in the stock market. Let's see what the petrodollar is looking like with all this Fed manipulation going on. All right, well, you can see we came off that high of 107.65 back in 2014 and then we hit a low here and March the 1st of March the 1st of uh, earlier this year uh, so I'm sorry February the 1st 2605 so quite the drop as you can see all right and now it's trying to get something going here and recover some of this loss some of this collapse from 2014. So now that you've seen what's happening here, what we've seen in the interim here now, it uh, you know it's having problems with 50. So the crude oil, the petrodollar, is having problems with 50, just like the dollar is having problems with par. Crude oil is having problems with 50. Doesn't mean it can't blast off through it and you know puncture that and blast off from there over time just saying right now this is where you are you're just riding the top of the Kumo cloud acting as a support building a base you can argue for a blast off so a lot of things to keep watching in the days to come in these markets they are quite interesting indeed and all I can say is I don't know how you can make sense of it without the pulse waves and with that said we have um, the Academy coming up target date for the Academy now is looking like December the 1st uh, so you're gonna want to sign up and enroll for that more information will be coming uh, more explanations and further videos and in that with that said we have the new trading room up and running as well and if you're not a part of that or you want to become a part of that go to pulsewavetrading.com that's pulsewavetrading.com you can sign up there and uh, you can learn how to trade these markets, how to navigate these crazy waters. Because, like I said, just looking at a chart, I can put any chart with any indicators up here. It means absolutely nothing. If you want consistent profitability in these markets, you need to trade with the algorithms. You need to defeat them. And the only way to defeat them is to trade with one of your own. Hence, the weekly pulse wave price triggers. All right, so see you at the postwavetrading.com. And to the rest of you, be encouraged. And remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and give nothing back.